giving your time and your efforts back to those around you who, who need it. And I know that's kind of the, the core of our church. It feels like it's just um, those, those moments where you can touch somebody else's life in some little way that you don't expect any reward, you don't expect any, anything out of it whatsoever, but you just kind of, um, you give a little something of yourself and watch, watch more positive things start happening. There's a lot of things that we get distracted by, but the lives of others are what's most important in the world. And people who need help that ask for help are in a place of great potential and transformation and that it's, it's our responsibility to show up for that. I'm, I am struck that we are the sum of our parts, you know, that we're all very human and we're all very flawed, but when we come together, we, it just keeps getting better, and I love that. The church has this magnificent ceremony that they do with people bring up photographs and light candles honoring the ones that had transitioned before. Well, I'd never seen anything quite like that. I wanted to go up and light a candle, but I couldn't do it because I was crying too much because it reminded me of my daughter that had passed away some 14 years ago. I see the generosity of spirit from my friend that invited me to the church in the first place, my buddy in Toastmasters, who I still don't know who it was, that went to the director of pastoral care. But the way that that all came together to be a part of helping me get through that phase in my life was very beneficial and powerful for me. And trying to encourage people to follow their passion and help them work through whatever it is and try to help contribute to that in any, any way I can. Uh, one of the first acts of generosity that I can remember uh, happened when my mother died and people brought food. Uh, and I always thought that was the, the nicest thing people could do. And I always vowed that whenever I could do that, I wanted to to bring food to people, and I did that as much as I possibly could. The congregation has took care of a lot of meals for a lot of people, and the 600 is probably a very, very low number. We have a, a generous congregation. Uh, people are very kind and very compassionate. This church is filled with people who are ready to do that, to offer their true selves, to share their toughest times, perhaps, to, to have the courage to share what they've gone through and their aspirations, to share their true selves, which allows others to feel comfortable sharing their own true selves and aspiring to become their, their best selves. In 2011, I had my second child, Charlie, and he presented all sorts of medical issues. It was totally terrifying. And so we started to fall. We were falling apart. So when we had to ask for help, um, it was hard. It's so hard. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be as hard as it was. But then to watch the community gather around us and support us with their energy, with their love, with their words, with their money, um, it gave me an opportunity to express gratitude, learning to receive with an open heart allowed me to give with an open heart, without expectation. That was a huge gift to me, to my husband, was um, open-heartedness. It made me feel like hope was a birthright. <laughs>